Hello and welcome to Technical Drawing Solution. I'm Dian Mao. Today I'm going to take you through drawing an octagon given the distance across flats. The distance given is 60 millimeters. So here we have a octagon drawn in two orientations. One shows a line passing through the center described at the distance across flat and another one showing the line passing through the center representing the distance across corners or the diameter. Since we are talking of across flats, then the green one is what we are going to uh, describe. So the first thing to do is to draw a construction uh, line uh, 60 millimeters. Of course, you will need to draw that line uh, in an area where uh, you will have a uh, uh, minimum wastage of space so you can draw it uh, just next to your border lines at the bottom right if it is the first diagram that you're drawing uh, so that you do not waste uh, space as it were so the next thing to do is from that line uh, construct a square Construct a square. There are many ways of uh, doing that. You can measure. You can just, uh, since you've drawn this line, you can uh, uh, draw a vertical line, 90 degrees. Draw another vertical line using the T square and the Z square, and then uh, measure this line up to that point. Measure this line up to that point, and close it up that way, and you'll have your um, you'll have your square. You can also stand here with your pair of compass, stretch it there, and describe a quadrant. Stand here with the same compass and stretch it here and draw that quadrant. Yes. And if you do a vertical here and a vertical there, then you will have drawn a square. So several ways of drawing a square. And uh, this lesson is not about drawing a square, but uh, we are drawing an octagon across flats. So next, uh, we do diagonals on the square on both sides, and we also name our points A, B, C, and D. And then after you've done that, um, stand at A with your pair of compass, stretch it to the center, and draw that quadrant then move to b stretch it to center and draw the next quadrant so stand there stretch it there and draw that quadrant do the same at c uh, move to c stretch it from c to center and draw that quadrant then move to D, at D, stretch it, and draw that quadrant. So with this uh, <clears throat> cup-like figure, you can see that there's a cup uh, facing up, cup facing down, <clears throat> cup facing uh, one side and the other side. So the next thing is to close this cup, move to this one, close it, move to this one, close it, move to this one, close it, and you will end up having your octagon. Yes, your octagon. By closing this cup, moving to this, closing this one, moving to this, closing that one, moving to that, closing that one, you end up having your quadrant, I mean your octagon. Thank you for watching and let's meet in the next video.